Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hello. Soy Blanca Rosa Hernández. Ayer no me pude conectar. Okay. Well, welcome to our class today. Okay. I'm happy that you were able to connect today. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good, good. Okay. I'm happy to see that many of you have connected. That's excellent. I'm, I'm thankful that everything um, is okay. Uh, ¿Cómo están todos? ¿Todos uh, están bien en su casita? Good. Yeah? Good. Yes. Everything is yes. good? good? Okay, good. I'm Very happy. Good teacher. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, good. And thank you for connecting. I know that sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but it's okay. Thank you. Um, Les quería mencionar algo antes que empezáramos. Uh, sé que en algunos casos tal vez las conexiones no están tan estables y puede ser que pierdan conexión de, de repente. No se preocupen, solamente traten de volver a meterse, ¿verdad? Um, siguen intentando. En algún momento puede ser que eh, pues ya la, la conexión se ponga más estable y puedan conectarse. Así es de que no, no se den por vencidos. Um, Solamente acuérdense que solo es una, hora, una horita, ¿verdad? Así de que um, solo hagan el esfuerzo lo más que puedan, ¿ok? Y si se desconectan, no se preocupen, no, yo entiendo. Um, yo entiendo que eso, esas cosas pasan, especialmente ahorita. ¿Ok? So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking the attendance. Um, just a moment. Okay, here we go. So, Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. Present, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Adriana Beatriz Rodriguez Sosa. Present. Excellent, thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, por cierto, Aaron, eh, será posible um, encender la cámara para la, la asistencia? Okay. Eh, Albert, uh, Aaron Alberto. Hola, Miss. Eh, te, tengo problemas con, con el, el teléfono, por eso solamente puedo conectarme con el, con el audio. Okay. Eh, ¿No tiene cámara? No, no, no me está funcionando por el momento. Me está, ah. dando, me está dando error. Okay. I see. All right, um, okay, let's continue then. Um, Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Rosa Hernandez de Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Oswaldo Aquino Correas. Daniel Oswaldo Aquino Correas. Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Eh, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón. Present. A young hero. Okay, thank you. Um, are you able to turn on your camera so we can see your... Edwin, uh, can you turn on the camera for the attendance? Miss Nye. Uh, Edwin, necesitamos, se puede encender su cámara para la asistencia? Me está dañado el teléfono, sí. No me sirve la cámara, pero voy a conseguir un teléfono para mañana para conectarme mejor. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Bueno. Um, ok, eh, Eloisa Abigail Ortiz um, de Gracias. García. 
Okay. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Oswaldo Quintanilla López. Henry Present. Oswaldo. Okay, thank you, Henry. Um, Hugo Al Adalberto Orellana Vides. Hugo Adalberto Orellana. Uh, José Ángel Hernández López. Ok, thank you. Um, Juan Alberto Cabrera Her Herrera. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Um, Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Catherine Stephanie Salazar. Uh, Catherine Jamilet Aviles Garcia. No le escuchamos, Catherine. Hola. Hola. Present. Ok, good, good, good. Um, hágame un favor, Catherine. Ahorita aparece en la plataforma como solamente Catherine Avilés. ¿Será posible que pueda cambiar su nombre uh, para un el nombre para tener un nombre completo? Lo voy a intentar. Ok, ¿ya, ya sabe cómo hacerlo? Creo que en participantes. Ajá, muy bien. Se va a participantes y después uh, le da... Um, clic en eh, donde está su nombre eh, en los tres puntitos verdad y entonces ahí aparece la última parte de ese cambiar nombre le da clic y le aparece una casilla ahí digita el nombre ok ok uh, continuamos a Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa present miss thank you uh, Kevin Adrián Rodríguez López Kevin Adrián. ¿No está Kevin? Eh, Kimberly Natalie Contreras González. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Alberto Morales Solórzano. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maynor Alexander Santos Solís. Here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela. Ok. Uh, Pedro Nat uh, Natán Ramírez Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. Uh, present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Romeo Antonio Gutiérrez Cerrón. Present. Thank you. Ruth del Carmen uh, Rosales Pilleda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ruth, um, ¿sabe cómo, cómo cambiar su nombre en la plataforma? Porque ahorita solo aparece como Ruth Villeda. Ok, ahorita. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. Sonia. Ok. Uh, Víctor Manuel Argueta Rauda. Thank you. And Janira Guadalupe Umi de Rivera. Present teacher. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you guys. All right. Um, 
So today, what we're going to be doing is talking about it, dates. So I need you to tell me if um, you can see my screen. Moment. Okay, um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Perfect. So um, what we're going to do, well, we were looking at, uh, at months yesterday. Now we're going to be looking at dates. Okay, so in English, when we're talking about a date, we do not um, uh, we do not use um, cardinal numbers. We use ordinal numbers to talk about the dates. Um, Alguien tenía una pregunta que vi con una manitas. Uh, I'm here, teacher. Uh, me había sacado la la uh, la la aplicación del por la señal, entonces no escuché cuando dijo mi nombre. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién es? Hugo uh, Alberto Orellana. Ah, ok. Perfect. Thank you, Hugo. Ok. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. So, um, so here we talk, we, we use ordinal numbers, no cardinal numbers, ordinal numbers, which is different than in, than in Spanish, right? Um, for example, in Spanish, uh, we say, ok. Que, um, ¿Cuál es la fecha del día de mañana? Primero. Primero, Primero de noviembre. Ok. November 1st. Eh, en español, en español, <risa> dígame. Primero de noviembre. Martes. Miércoles. Miércoles, miércoles primero. primero de noviembre. Ok. Ahora, es, es muy común uh, oír las personas decir... Eh, primero de noviembre. Sin embargo, tengo una pregunta. Entonces, significa que seguimos con segundo de noviembre, tercero de noviembre, cuarto de noviembre, quinto de noviembre, y así sucesivamente? No. No, no, no teacher. No. Entonces, en inglés, pero en español, en realidad no usamos números ordenales para las fechas. Entonces, lo correcto sería Mañana es 1 de, de noviembre. 1 de noviembre, exacto. 1 de noviembre, 2 de noviembre, 3 de noviembre, etc. Etcétera, etcétera. But in English, in English, we do use ordinal numbers. Okay? In English, you will say November 1st, November 2nd, November 3rd, November 4th, November 5th etc 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 okay do we understand yes yes. Teacher. Yeah? yes yes teacher okay so my question is what is the date today 31 so what's the date yes. today yes. what Okay, so October 31st. October 31st. Okay, 31st. Yeah, exactly. What is the what is the holiday? What is the next holiday? November. November. Huh? Second. Second. November second. That's the next holiday. Yeah. Do you, Do you understand holiday? Yes. What is holiday? Is when you celebrate something yeah. special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so 
Eh, how do you say holiday in Spanish? Festivo. Festivo. Día festivo. Día festivo. Día festivo. So when is the next holiday? The next holiday? The second. The second. No. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what is the date in, in English? November 2nd. Exactly. November 2nd. Okay. So everybody repeat after me. First. 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 Second. 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 Third. 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 Fourth. 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 Fifth, and then eleven. Eleven. Twelfth. Twelve. Thirteenth. 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 Fourteenth. 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 Fifteenth. 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 Nineteenth. Twentieth. 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 Okay. Now this word here, we can pronounce it twentieth or twentieth. Twentieth or twentieth. Twentieth. Yeah. Twentieth. Yes. Good. Then we have 21st. 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 Or 21st. 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 Yeah, so the two forms are, are, are possible. Okay. Uh, 22nd. 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 23rd. 23rd, 23rd, 24th, 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 25th, 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 26th, 26 28 28 29 29 29 30 31st 31st okay all right there you go and that's it any questions at this moment?
Ok, eh, solamente un recordatorio para todos. Um, como decía al principio, sé que ahorita las, las señales están inestables y de repente pueden ustedes um, eh, perder conexión. Solamente revisen que cuando regresen a clase, eh, o sea, cuando, cuando se vuelvan a meter a Zoom, eh, asegúrese que su nombre esté completo, porque si su nombre no está completo y se lo cambió durante la clase, cuando usted se desconecta y vuelve a entrar, lo mismo, tiene, lo mismo pasa, que tienen um, que, que volver a ingresar su nombre completo. ¿Ok? Solamente un recordatorio ahí. Um, ok, bueno. ¿Any questions about this? No questions. No questions. No questions. No okay. question. So I have a question then. What date is uh, Christmas Day? Christmas Day is 24th. December 24th. December 24th. December 25th. 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 Okay, December 25th. December 25th. Yeah. What what it what is 24th then? What 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 do you celebrate on the 24th? December 24th. Christmas Eve. Huh? Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Exactly. Christmas. Very good. You, you celebrate Christmas Eve. Okay. Chris, sorry. Christmas Eve. What is Christmas Eve in Spanish? Noche buena. Mm -hmm. Noche buena. Oh, the word Eve means Christmas vísperas. Eve. Christmas. Ah, vísperas. Yeah, ah. the word Eve means vísperas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Christmas. Any questions? So remember, in El Salvador, what we do is, or better said, in El Salvador, what happens is that um, people celebrate Christmas Eve because they want to welcome Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what happens. So it's not Christmas Day is in even in El Salvador. It's on it's on uh, December twenty fifth. But people celebrate Christmas Eve to welcome Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Let's continue then. Okay, here we have a conversation. Happy birthday. It's a conversation between Angie and Philip. So I want you to listen and repeat after me. Um, Okay, so are you going to do anything? Are you going to do, going to do anything? Exciting this weekend? Exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. My, my birthday. birthday. Fabulous. 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 When is your birthday exactly? When is when your birthday, birthday exactly? It's August 9th. It is August, August 9th. 9th. Sunday. 
Sunday. So what are your plans? So what are your plans? So what are the plans? Well, my friend Kayla. Well, my well, friend, my Kayla, friend Kayla, Kayla is going to take me. He's going to take me out. Out for dinner. Out for dinner. Nice. Is she going nice. to order a cake? Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. 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 And the yeah. waiters are probably going to sing. And, and the, the waiters are probably going to sing. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. It's, it's so embarrassing. embarrassing. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. Any questions about the vocabulary? Embarrassing meaning embarrassing. 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 Mm -hmm. So embarrassing is something that um that you feel bad about because other people know. Other people see you and you don't like that the other people see. So it makes you feel like shy around other people. Okay. Does that make sense? Thanks. Yes. Questions? No. No, Miss. No? No. No. Okay. Any other words? Any other words that, that you're not sure about? Pudiera decirse, teacher, como, como penoso. Uh -huh. yeah. Como que me da pena. Uh -huh. yeah. exactly. Como si yo soy tímida y, y, uh -huh. me gust, y no me gustan, por decirlo así, esos detalles uh -huh. y me causa pena. Yes, exactly. No es yeah. en sí que no me guste, sino que me causa pena. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, anything else? Any other words that you don't understand? No? No, Miss. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to practice this conversation with um, your, your partner. I'm going to assign you into breakout rooms. And I'm going to, oh, well, first of all, I'm going to send you guys the conversation in WhatsApp. So just give me a moment while I send it to you. Okay, do you see it? Yes, do you see it? Do you see the conversation or no? Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. So um, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Eh, quiero asegurarme que todos estén acá. No veo a todos. No sé si están, si está Victor Manuel, Sandra Guadalupe. Uh, Kimberly, Aaron, Edwin. Yes, Miss. ¿Todos están acá? 
Yes, Miss. Sí, 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 presente. Eh, Edwin, um, necesito que cambie su nombre porque ahorita también igual Ruth, um, necesito que cambie su nombre porque solo les aparece primer nombre y apellido. Entonces tiene que ir nombre completo. Okay, so um, I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Just a moment. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're creating the rooms and opening up right now. ¿Y usted? Ajá. ¿Sí? Ok. Y usted, Bye, Philip. Yo, Philip. Ok. Ok. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Eh, well, yo creo que así. Well, well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's a ghost night Sunday. So what are your plans? Where well, my friend Kyle Kaina is going to take me out for dinner. 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 Nice. Is she going to order the cake? Yeah. And the waiter are they are probably probably going to sing happy birthday to me it's so embarrassing 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 ya entró usted al a la primera lección eh, no no he entrado todavía ah fíjese que yo entré anoche este como ella nos sugirió que después de la clase verdad y yo no tenía sueño así que sí. dije voy a comenzar a, a ver cómo está la lección verdad lo que, pasa, lo que pasa es de que, que yo está no he... bonita, porque ¿Vale? es, es, está bonita, le digo, porque ahí le da en inglés, pero tiene una, una, una pantalla al lado derecho donde uh -huh. está la traducción en español, fíjese. Okay, 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 okay. Entonces, este, o sea, este, no le va a costar practicarla porque la, la, la va a escuchar y va a ver la traducción, la traducción. al lado derecho. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Gracias. Vaya, Ahí está la ficha. Are you guys finished? Exactly. Exactly. Are, are you finished or do you need more time? Boys, do you need more time? Hi, teacher. Hi. Do you need more time or is that okay? 
Do you, do you need more time? More time. More time. More time? Más tiempo? Do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Sí. Necesita más tiempo. No sé. Sí. ¿Me, me, escuch ¿Me escuchan bien o no? Uh, so la, solo tres hemos regresado a la, a la sala principal. No, 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 no. No, o sea. Ahora, necesitamos yo creo que ya, ya oh, ya sí, ya regresado. No, ya, ya estamos bien. Perdón. Okay. Yo creí que ya estábamos con la clase. <risa> yo pensé no. que estábamos en la sala principal. Yo no, también. no, no. No, sí. yo te, les pregunto si ustedes necesitan más tiempo. No, solo eh, queríamos, este, tenemos unas preguntas con el tema de la acentuación de las palabras. Por ejemplo, lo de exactly. Ajá, esas. The pronunciation. Yes, teacher. Yeah, eh, it's, yeah, it's exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Do you have any more questions? Um, very probably. Fabulous. 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 Yes. Fabulous. The is como less fabulous fabulous um, fabulous and fabulous uh-huh mm -hmm. fabulous fabulous yes okay all right so we're going to go to back to the main room okay see you in the main room thank you teacher. you're welcome Marvin Hola Entonces ese, ese diálogo que está ahí es el que vamos a practicar pero yo no lo veo porque como en el teléfono estoy conectado Yo igual creo que ahí sí tengo ese problema It's in the WhatsApp group yeah. You have to go back to the WhatsApp so you can see it. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. All right. Ya tenemos todos de vuelta. Hello, yeah. miss. Hello, hello. Hi, miss. Hello. <laughs> hello. Okay. Um, teacher. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> My name, uh, Jessica. Jessica. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, so we are going to. Oh, ¿qué hice aquí? ¿Qué hice? Ay, me salí. Me salí. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, oh, so. No. ¿Qué pasó? No, me salí. No sé qué hice. No, usted está conectada. La estamos escuchando. <laughs> okay, so um, so we are going to look now at this structure here, the future with be going to. Okay, when we're talking about plans. Okay, when we're talking oh. about. Si, si quieren podemos wow. a, a apagar todos los micrófonos. ¿Qué apagamos todos los micrófonos? Apagamos todos los micrófonos, por favor. Ah. 
All right, so, okay, so the future be going to. This is when we use the future be going to when we're talking about making plans. When we are making plans for the future, when we have the idea, the intention, or the, or the desire, okay, when it's here in our heart or in our minds to do something, we use future be going to. Okay, so how you do this is first, you have the subject. Okay, then we have the verb to be. Okay, um, so in this case, the verb to be is going to be either is R or M. Then we're going to say going, going to, always, 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 always. I'm going to say going to. And then the verb, the base form of verb. Okay, that's the structure we're going to be always using. Okay, subject plus the verb to be, and the verb to be can be is, are, or am in any tense there. Then always going to, and then the verb in the base form. Okay. Okay. Okay, Miss. Mm. Okay, so this is the structure here. Now, in the negative, it's the same. It's going to be the same. So we have subject. Plus B. And like I said, B can be in any form. And we're going to say going to, oops. And then the base form of verb. But because it's negative, what we're going to do, so it's going to be exactly the same. But because it's negative, what we're going to do is we're going to say right here, not. The word is not. Okay, so that's the structure we're going to be using for negatives. Does that make sense for everybody? Does that make sense? Any questions? No, it's clear. Are you sure? In the case of the En el caso de la oración, Miss, eh, solamente se va a mantener toda la estructura, pero al momento que se haga negativa, solamente se le va a agregar el not, nada más. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. Any questions that you guys have? Please try to ask me questions in English. Okay. 
Solo una consulta, okay. teacher. Okay, can you ask me in English? Is it possible to ask me in English? Uh, <laughs> no, me cuesta mucho explicarlo. Try, try. Um, in the platform, uh -huh. in the learning, mm -hmm. um, explain uh, discuss um, um, the grammar, mm -hmm. the um, sentence, mm -hmm. example, this. Mm -hmm. uh, is uh, necessary uh, um, complete uh, but I my my point mm -hmm. is is very important I I do you do is the discut it's important que Ajá, que en la plataforma que yo tengo que completar este, mi aprendizaje, eh, explica las oraciones y todo, lo invita el profesor a que uno en la discusión lo complete o arme oraciones. ¿Es eh, de vital importancia que yo lo, yo lo haga o lo complete? Eso le va a ayudar ahí para poder um, tener mayor práctica. Uh -huh. Pero si no lo hago. Entonces no, no tendrá no esa importa. práctica. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. Ok. No tendrá la práctica. Ok. O sea, sí, es, una pregunta. Uh -huh. este, bueno, no sé si solamente yo o todos los demás compañeros ya lo captan al 100%. ¿O qué posibilidades hay que al menos la primera, la primera oración nos la explique en español como para captar el resto de las demás? Ok, so the course is in English, ok, and we are learning English, so we need to practice English. The more English we practice, the more we're going to understand. If we are switching from English to Spanish, Spanish to English, our brains get confused. We need to start thinking in English. Because if we don't think in English, what we're going to do is we're always going to be translating. And that's not learning a language. We need to start thinking in English. Okay, so okay, our please. our course has to be in English. Now, one or a, one or a few things I can I can help you with. I can I can tell I can talk to you in Spanish, but not everything. the The explanation I can't be doing Spanish and then English, and because that is not going to help you. So, do do you understand? The structure, subject. Do you understand what is subject, Juan Alberto? Sí, no. yo lo entendí. Yes. Que estamos, entre más practiquemos el inglés, más lo vamos a entender. Yes, yes. yes. So here, this, this word here, this means subject. Do you understand subject? Do you understand this yes. word? Subject. What is subject in Spanish? Yo. Uh -huh. The yeah. subject is uh, the first, second, dear person. Right, very good. So el sujeto personal, right? Okay, good. All right, then we have, then goes the verb to be. So is, are, or am, depending on the subject, right? So you, if you say I, It'll be I am. If it's he, he is. If it's they, they are. So it depends on the subject. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to have always, 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 we use going to. Always. Going to, going to, going to, going to. Always. Yes. Always. Okay. 
And then is the verb in the base form. So the base form, oops, perdón, ¿qué pasó ahí? There we go. Okay, so the verb in the base form is the verb in the original form. So no change. The verb, do you do not add S, no ING, no ED, nothing, nothing, no ING, nothing. It's the original form of the verb. No to, no nothing. Okay? So let's take I'll a look. Okay, great. Let's take a look at the sentence here. Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. So here we have subject, I. The verb to be, am, but it's contracted, I'm. Then we have going to, okay, going to, and celebrate. Celebrate is the base form of the verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the negative, in the negative, we have I, the subject, am, the verb to be, Oh, oh actually, sí. sorry, sorry, guys. Perdón. Aquí, perdón, ese no es el negativo. Ya me di cuenta. Um, lo que pasa es de que de, lo que sucede es. Okay, so what happens here is that we are we are giving the right information. So this one changes a little bit. Um, it's like when you say, for example, um, vas a ir, um, vas a ir de compras esta semana? No, voy a, um, voy a descansar esta semana. So that's why they're doing here. That's why it's not negative. Okay. But if you notice, we always use here the verb to be, sorry, the subject, verb to be, going to, and the verb in the base form. And this keeps on repeating. Subject, verb to be, going to, and the verb in the base form. Verb to, as the subject, the verb to be, going to, and the verb in the base form. Subject, the verb to be, going to, and the verb in the base form. Subject, the verb to be, be going to, sorry, going to, and the verb in the base form. Noten todo se repite. Okay, so yes, I am going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. They're going to give me a cake. Any questions at this moment? Yeah, um, the answer for the third sentence, uh, are the waiters going to sing to you? In, mm -hmm. in negative form uh, will be uh, the waiters not going to sing. Yeah, the waiters are not going to sing. Mm -hmm. Are not going to sing. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Now, in the questions, in the questions, all you're going to do, it's exactly the same idea. All you're going to do is that you're going to switch the subject with the verb to be. That's it. 
but everything mm -hmm. else looks exactly the same. So instead of starting with subject, we're gonna start with the verb to be. And we already know that the verb to be is gonna be either is, are, or am, plus, the subject now, now we're getting to the subject, plus going to, always going to, plus the verb in base form. And of course, a question mark. Oops. Teacher, uh, example. Uh huh. Hmm? So ya no, ya no escuchamos. Are you on the? Are you going to do swim the Saturday? Okay. Are you going to swim? on Saturday. Are you going to swim on Saturday? That's what it would be. Okay. Are you going to swim on Saturday? Okay. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, any other questions that you guys have? No. No question. No questions? No. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's that's pretty much it. Okay. So if you notice um, that we follow this, are you going to do anything this weekend? So are the verb to be. The you is a subject. Going to. Going to. And the verb in the base form is do. Here. The verb to be is is. Then we have Kayla is a subject. Going to is always going to be going to. And then the verb in the base form is have. Then over here we have, are the waiters going to sing? Are is the verb to be. The waiters is a subject. Going to is going to. And the verb in the base form is sing. Do we have any questions about that? No question. No teacher, no question. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're going to continue working on this tomorrow. Okay. So if you don't understand everything, it's okay. Uh, we will practice more tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right, great. Do you have right. any questions before we say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Goodbye, coach. Do you have any questions? Tiene alguna mm -hmm. pregunta antes que digamos adiós? No, no. no question. It's all clear. No question, teacher. No questions at all. Oh, okay. Okay, well, in that case, guys, um, just a reminder, tomorrow we have class. O sea, tenemos clase, el, la, la clase que no vamos a tener va a ser el jueves. Entonces, um, mañana sí hay clase 
Y eh, yo, como les decía al principio de la, de, de la clase hoy, sé que algunos tienen a veces problemas con la conexión, especialmente ahorita están las conexiones inestables, pero hasta donde ustedes puedan, traten de conectarse. Eh, si lo saca la plataforma, si, si se desconectan por X motivo, siempre traten de ingresar, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Eh, traten de... Solo es una hora, entonces traten de mantenerse conectado eh, y traten de ingresar cuantas veces sea necesario. Ok, no hay problema. Do you have any questions before we disconnect? Anything else? Comments? No question, teacher. Question. Okay. No Perfect. question, teacher. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. All right. So we'll see each other tomorrow. Okay. So take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, Peter. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.